Okay, everybody, welcome down to my new studio. <laughs> So before we begin in earnest, the first thing I want to say is a massive, massive thank you. Without your support, without you watching the channel, engaging with the videos, none of this would have been possible. So I'm feeling a little bit choked up, I'm feeling a little bit emotional today. Everybody watching is invited to my first child's christening, and I got way too carried away. But I literally bought about 50 pens and pencils from Tesco's before. Other supermarket chains are available. But I don't even write anything down anymore. <laughs> This is my new office space, by the way. I can sit here and pretend to do some work. Okay, let's begin showing you around. I'm so excited. So there's a few spaces left in the studio which are undecided. I'm gonna need your help on that. So make sure you stay tuned and get down into the comments below and give me some help with the areas which I still really need it. First port of call, which I'm uh, rather proud of, is my lighting bank. The actual specific video lights cost like three times as much, no more than that, than the work lights I got from Wix. Quick tip for you, if you have to some LED lights, just go to like your building merchants. They're so much cheaper. Anyway, proud of that. As you can see, it's dark outside. As you can also see, I went wild at B&Q. Anybody watching in the US, it's got a garden center attached. And I thought, you know what, let's oxygenate the air in here. Not quite figured out how I'm gonna water a mold yet. <laughs> It'd be fine. I mean, the first place we have to start is with this. So this is a Foresight Sports Europe performance simulator. And it's part of their sim in the box range. So with everything going on at the moment, I was very keen to try and make sure that I could do everything in the studio myself. And if you know me, my DIY skills are, I mean, let's be polite and say non-existent. And I made all this perfectly clear to Foresight when they sent it through, but they said, no, it's fine, you'll be able to do it. And I did it. It probably took about eight hours in total, so one afternoon and one morning. And I'm just so, like, happy with myself. <laughs> Honestly, this is my Great Wall of China. This is my Sistine Chapel. I ain't gonna be able to top this. So prior to getting the performance simulator, I was using one of the nets from Foresight. You may recognize all this acoustic foam here. It's very bare-walled in here, so it's very, hello, hello. It's not quite as echoey as it used to be, but I need to get a little bit more up. So just to give you an idea of the space here, I'm gonna throw up my original plans for the room, where you'll soon discover I'm not a budding architect or an interior designer. So I've got a decent sized space here and the ceiling heights as well are really high. The ceiling must be about a good four meters, I think. So that obviously gave me loads and loads of space to play with. But the performance simulator isn't actually as big as it looks. I mean, it looks massive, it looks impressive. But size-wise, thanks Jacob. <laughs> and with everything that you're seeing in today's video, in the description below, I'll leave links so you can visit the website and you can find out more information. So with Foresight, I'll leave a link to the Performance Simulator, but also the Net Series as well, which I was using before this. Now the launch monitor powering all this simulator is this, this is the GC Quad. Now, if you've watched my videos for any length of time, really, you'll know that I've used Foresight products forever, and the Quad for me is the best out there. So rather than other launch monitors, what it actually does is you see these four kind of cameras, what kind of cameras, you see these four cameras. They take pictures of the club and the ball at impact, take measurements from club speed, ball speed, impact location, path and a gazillion other things. Put that data through equations, I'm pretty sure Stephen Hawking did. Might not be true, but very smart people and computers. <laughs> Feed it back through the software and that's what comes out the other side of the sim. I'm excited about using the quad as well this year because it's transportable. So yes, I'm gonna be using it in here, which if you've any idea about Manchester, you'll know it's pretty important. Weather is not guaranteed in the Northwest of England, but also I can do things like gap testing in here and then take this out to the golf course and do gap testing out there as well. So really no excuses not to make some good videos and actually play well. Okay. Now, if you're not familiar with the software, there's play, there's compete, and then there's improve. And I'm gonna be deep diving into all of this as the year goes on. I've got loads of courses preloaded so I can go on the play function and get some courses up. Compete, I'm interested in because I've never actually done a cross internet collaboration with someone else on Foresight, the other side of the world before. So that's something. And then improve, that's where all the driving range is. That's maybe what you're most familiar with me in my videos. But I'll tell you what, how about we hit the first shots 
on this sim together. Let's pull up an amazing par three and try and get a hole in one. What par three? Um, I'll pull up a par three. So the performance simulator basically came in a box and it came with this projector and this stand that I've mounted it on. I think moving forward, I might try and mount it somewhere in the room, but again, I, I didn't want to do that myself. That would have been a recipe for disaster. So in honor of the cat, I have pulled up Pebble Beach here, the seventh hole. I'm also gonna be using one of his golf clubs, Mill Grind 2, 50 degree, 102 downhill, no wind, perfect day here looking out on the Pacific. Oh, it's too much, too strong, too powerful. I will give myself 10 shots at this. All right, I got the club in. You like my little uh, fork out of here as well, full of little nerfs. Top trick, if you get one of these actually, it looks really full, but it's not. It's kind of filled halfway with foam and just detritus from the office. And the rest is topped up with balls. Right, come on, little half swing. Oh, that was a nice strike. Oh. Oh, 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 hello. So I've got the swing length, just half a swing with a 50 degree. Oh, that's a good line. Go on, release out. Oh, it's getting tasty. To get that hole in one that you've always wanted. That ain't gonna do it though, is it? That's pants. I think the line's good. Oh, the line was amazing. Look at these spin hammer. Kick. That was terrible. Uh, Jacob, Jacob, delete that. Oh, maybe that. Two more. Oh, man. This is pants. Right, last one, here we go, do or die. Oh! <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad one. That's not a bad one to end on that. I mean, having something like this for me is completely invaluable. So I just wanna say a big thank you to Foresight for helping sort this out for me. And as I mentioned, if you do want more info, go down to the description, there is a link there as well. Let us know what setups you've got at home as well. I know a few of you might be getting Studio Envy right now, and I'm sorry, not sorry. Some of the content I'm gonna be doing the sim on as well is over here, a new series coming soon. We have something new to the channel, this is the power ranking board. So I'm still gonna to continue to do normal driver reviews, that's not gonna change. But those videos are all about the features and the benefits, you know, what you're gonna be able to get from that driver from a general perspective, you know, we're talking about every golfer. Now this is simply a test of how far those drivers can go. The first one of these videos is gonna be out pretty soon, but I'm really excited to see how this goes. It's just gonna be an absolute smash fest and get down into those comments below. Fill the top three for me, what do you reckon? What are gonna be the three furthest drivers that have been released this year? I've got my first video coming on this in a few days. <laughs> so this area that I'm in now, this is gonna be the podcast area. It's also gonna be a filming area when we have guests in to sit down and have a chat. Obviously that's not happening at the moment, but hopefully it will soon. But my clubs as a centerpiece, Nothing else to put there at the moment. Some camera gear, some practice balls, some more foam, new mic, some apples, emergency pair of shoes, because you never know when I'm gonna need some. Now don't at me, but yeah, I just love noodles in a pot. I love it, I love it. Listen, we all need snacks, like I'm no different than the next man. So this wonderful stage is a put view. The P7 series to be exact, this is cool. So the projector obviously projects down onto the green. In this stand, you've got the computer, which is powering everything, but it's controlled via this tablet. And built into here is like just so many games, so many different things you can do. I'm just turning the contours on and off just because I can. Bit of slope direction coming in this way. Oh, look at that, I'm on a straight putt. It's almost like I planned it. Slope percentages on here as well. Eight foot, can I get it first time? Do it for me. Oh. Now we are talking. Yes, it's a straight putt, but ignore that. Two out of two. B. 
Bet your bottom dollar I can. What the hell was that? Bet your bottom dollar I can. Oh, it's three out of three. It's three out of three. Thank you. Thank you very much. So similar with the sim, the amount of videos I'm going to be able to create on here, I'm also going to be able to get the quad on the screen as well and do a very different type of putter review than anything that I've done before. I could also get all the training aids out on here. It's going to aid me with the Quest for the Open videos. And I constructed all this myself as well. So this again arrived on a pallet, all these separate pieces slotted together, laid the green over, installed the tower, and then called the fitting team at put view. And then they took control of the computer, calibrated all the projector so it was all perfect. And then we got this beautiful thing. So exciting. Technology. Isn't it amazing? So again, loads and loads of videos coming on that. Nothing too crazy going on here with a cabinet. We've got that little clamp on so I can do some down the line video. Got a load of different balls, got some bushnell stuff, got some books, training aids down here. Very excited about what's in here as well, but I'll uh, save that as a surprise. This, by the way, <laughs> this bushnell wingman has been a revelation. So it's a Bluetooth speaker, which I did obviously know. It's got a magnetic thing on the back, so I just stuck it onto uh, the electrical pole. But I didn't quite appreciate how good of a speaker it was. So I can't really play any proper music or it's going to get copyrighted. So I'll start kind of ramping up the volume a bit. I won't dance. A little bits and bobs, got a bag of putter, got Tiger's clubs over there, got wedges and driving irons in there. Basically keeping the drives in three was in storage just so it doesn't get too cluttered. Got this body track force play actually, I've not used this in a while. Let's get going with that. Now this is an area of the office that I do need your help with. So originally the uh, power ranking board was gonna go there, but I nearly fell off the ladder and broke my neck. So I wanna put something in that space. I wanna maybe a bit of artwork potentially, but I've got no idea what I'm doing. So think of something golf related related artwork get down into those comments below let me know what you think and if you've seen anything online like fire the link in or get onto me on twitter or instagram or whatever and just let us know it's a decent space that and now we're back in my little alcove so once more i just want to say a massive thank you for watching and kind of allowing me to get this kind of stuff done a huge thank you to foresight as well for sorting me out with the sim and to put view as well for this amazing little green biggest thank you of all needs to go to you guys it's been a pretty crazy year for you know a lot of people we've managed to keep going and get some pretty decent content out and i just want to say thank you again for so many people who've contacted us just to say how much they've enjoyed the videos and how they've actually helped in a situation where people have been stuck inside giving them something to watch which is obviously not the intention you know this is about golf it's about having fun but if it has helped in any way then so good to hear okay thanks for watching it's time now to well i'm gonna eat a pot noodle uh fly this up over to jacob and get filming